And the moment we'll be waiting for, please work. It's a Sea-Doo GTX direct injection. Picked it up with an auction a couple of days ago. She just arrived. She is pretty sure she's a 1000 cc or 950, something like that. Close enough. So I got her as a non runner. Had a look good around, around the trailer. And even though it probably needs a bit of a paint, he is in good condition. This is, I managed to get the whole thing for only 350 pounds plus all the fees. So you come up to nearly 450. On the auction, they said it floats but doesn't ride. So what we have to do is probably do a check or whatever the jet ski itself. It has a step ladder, it's a lot easier to get into the jet ski itself. One thing I did find was that, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little pushed in, maybe because he touched a rock or something, but it shouldn't affect the performance of the jet ski whatsoever. But it's an easy change anyway if you ever need to change this. Other than that, she's a good ski. He floats at least, apparently. That's what they say. Right, she did come with a... She came with a fast ski, and you got your learning ski as well. Quite useful. It's not some GoPro sticks already. But overall condition for what 450 pounds she is a good jet ski well she looks all right the trail itself is probably worth that checked underneath here comes with a few bits and bobs of towel no t-shirt where's this scratch remover seem to be any scratches on it though in there so this is my extinguisher and tools and there is plastic bag sun plug and what is this some type of gasket or something can you tell so, there's nothing under there. How about this one? So this is just storage. So there's a spot plug. Let's clean that out and wash this. See, she has been in the auction for a bit of a time now. Right, what's underneath that? She looks dry, so that's a good sign. So she is a two-stroke engine, as you can see there the oil and the fuel tank itself right well main thing let's see if she starts I did say it was a non runner so plugging in the key nothing Plugging in the key, oh, something came up. She comes with a little. I'll put the key in properly. Oh, let me do it again. That's not a good sign. It probably has no batch. Let's open the seats and see what's actually under here. There's a storage, so here's the little battery. She does seem a bit new, but I'll take it out and recharge it. There's a bit of water in there. Okay. Let me recharge the battery and I'll come back to you guys. Two hours later. Right guys, so I've just charged the battery for a good four hours. And that should, I mean should, do the job now. So let's see if there's any difference. Okay. So putting the key in, that's not doing anything. 
great. <laughs> All right, let's put this down. That one down as well. Let's get, let's see the beauty of this then. Oh Lord. Right. Whoa. First thing you can smell is DMD 40. So it seems like they cleaned it with something. You can see it's all oily as well. Yeah, definitely DMD 40. It's missing one of those as well. I'm not sure what the name for that is, but I do need to get one. So I'm probably going to have to run down to the jet ski shop, see if they have any for sale. Oh, and then the plugs are loose. So change them too. Because with that there, she's not going to start. Seems all right. So. I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna run down to the jet ski shop see if I can find that piece for there get some new spot plugs and maybe get a new battery for it because I'm pretty sure they do sell the same ones there so jet ski shop is only about 10 minutes down the road from where I live I'm listening next to this water so what I do now is I go and get it and I'll come back to you so I'm gonna go and get the parts and I'll come straight back. Right guys, so what I've done is I changed the spark plugs. So they are new spark plugs, so they sh should do the job. Uh, the, in the jet ski shop, they didn't have the part, but luckily a friend of mine had a similar jet ski and he had one laying around. So I'm pretty sure all you do is put that in there a line the same as the other one push it down and pull this up there we go so that's done right so the same thing again see if that does anything oh hit the fuel pump pumping well that's new because i've never done it before I did not get a new battery, but I left it charging a bit more. Now I seem I can hear the fuel injectors pumping fuel into it, but that's about it. So his new spark plugs. There's no wires disconnected. There's no nothing. Can't really see. Don't know what the problem may be. Could it be the? Is this a fuse box underneath it? So it could be simple as a fuse. Right, let's have a look. That seems watertight at least. Mm. Doesn't seem to have any water or any fuses in there. So I don't think that's gonna be the problem. Make sure we close this properly because without this, it's not gonna stop. All right, that is stuck in there. Other thing as well as I couldn't see is how many hours does she have? You can nearly get 70 miles an hour with this thing, so that's not bad. So it's got 132 hours. That's not too bad. 450 quid, is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's 31 degrees outside, it's really hot. Come on, to, uh, it's in the north. Oh, that's the wrong time, it's not 11. <laughs> right, okay, let's get this off. Right. Uh, I think the fuse box for this jet ski itself is underneath here. So what I'll do is, I'll get this out. And I'm pretty sure that might be a problem somewhere. Somewhere. So I think this is the fuses. There we go, it'll be one of them. So now I got some pliers. This is the most boring job now, is check one by one by one. So I grab them, get that amount. And the way to check if a fuse is broken, 
but pointing towards the sun you can see a little metal thing in the middle there we go so you can see a metal thing in the middle if it's cut or you can see a bit of smoke that means it's blown so it's worth changing it they're really cheap you can get them from anywhere any hardware shop will sell them so it's not that one pull that in a bit more it's not that one okay let's shake Oh, shake this one They're really in there tied so again not that one what do you guys I'll go through all of them you know, if I find one I'll get back to you right checked all them still nothing let's check this one again as you see that's fine I'm hoping it's the last one because if it's not, I've no idea what's wrong with this jet ski. So, last one. Oh, I think I found the problem. So, first of all, he's missing a leg, and if you see the middle of it, it seems like he had like a mini explosion in there. So, that's probably it. Let's turn the key on again and see if he does the same. So yeah, it's doing the same fuel injection sound. Uh, so I'm gonna have to run to the shop and get what, what's that? 15, 1.5. So 15, and hopefully that should sort the problem for the jet ski. Two hours later. Right guys, I've got one. It's not broken. So I'm hoping it's gonna work fine. Let's make sure the key's not on there. Put this back. So that's on. Put that bit back on. In the moment of true, guys. Let's see if I manage to fix there with just 55B. All right, she never made that clicking sound. And the moment was true. There we go. There we go. Couple pounds, a couple pounds spent on it. And she was like a champ. All right, one more time. Can't leave it on for too long because I'm not having any hoses at the moment and I can't connect it for too long. But she seems to actually start in fine. Let's do it again. Perfect. Perfect. I don't think this if I want to see if the reverse either works on it. If I pull that, I should be able. Oh, there we go. So I've got a reverse on it. I'm hoping. I'm probably going to change the sun plungs on it because if that gets you in the water you'll sink like a little rock pretty much so make sure to change them put new seals on it so nothing happens right let's put everything back together and actually see it running properly so I think you need this one I can't believe we've got this to work within an hour is that working? so that closes this closes rear seat Good, doesn't it? Well, one of the other weird things I found with jet skis is why are the thrusts so uncomfortable? I can be like a more bike, just twist and go. It's like on your thumb, but anyway. So that comes on. Should check the hours again. So the 132.810 should just.
pretty fucking perfect. Race boys over there. I can hear it engaging at the back. Sure works. That was it guys, all it was a new spot plugs, which has a battery and change a fuse and she's working again. What I'm going to do now is probably stick a new impeller on it, make sure that works fine, change some plugs. So yeah guys, next video will be a water test and see how she performs in water, but other than that, that's it for this video, peace.